be filming for you guys this video on this spring type inspired look. This look was basically based around this blush I just got from NARS. This is the ooh, Dual Intensity Blush in Frenzy. And let me tell you how obsessed I am. I just went to Soho yesterday and I spent the whole day there and I was just, I went ham. I went absolute ham in Sephora. Like, ah, I bought so much and like I think I'm going to do a haul and all the things that I bought in the city, but... Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. I am absolutely in love. I was going to get Fervor, which is like the pink, the hotter pink one and the lighter pink one. But I was just like, eh. I saw this one and I loved it even more. This gold highlight, which is sort of a dupe for uh, Max Whisper of Guilt, which is discontinued because it was limited edition. But, um, yeah. This one's pretty good, except I like Whisper of Guilt a lot more. I think it's more pigmented, but... Absolutely love this blush too. This shade is adorable. I used it very lightly today because I wanted to blend it out because I'm going somewhere soon. Um, well, not really soon, in like three hours. <laughs> I don't even know. But anyway, um, so yeah, and you guys can use these wet. I haven't tried it wet. I'm too scared kind of to because I'm still trying to experiment with this. But I did use this in my eyeshadow. These are actually my eyeshadow looks, but um, I, lo I always use NARS blushes. So, I mean, I kind of had to get so, if you guys like this look, then definitely let me know in the comments below. Also, give this video a thumbs up, of course, only if you liked it. And subscribe for more videos like this. And, uh, yeah, so I really like doing these simple and fresh makeup tutorials. If you guys want more dramatic looks and stuff, I am actually going to be doing a prom collab soon. Hopefully, if that all works out well. And, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And enjoy this video. And let's get started. <laughs> So since my face has been breaking out like crazy, I had to use my Glam Glow Mud, which I absolutely love before doing my makeup and stuff. And then I applied this Mint Juleps Lip Scrub from Lush all over my lips, which you can also just lick off when you're done, which is pretty cool. And then I just primed my face with my favorite primer from Too Faced. This is the Hangover Primer. And then I applied foundation. This is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Absolutely love. It has just such a great finish on your skin. It's not too shiny. If you have oily skin, don't be afraid of the name Luminous. Like, it's just amazing. And then um, I use my Beauty Blender to blend everything in. To prime my lids, I'm taking this Flesh Tone Primer from Blink and then applying this MAC Paint Pot. Um, I don't really don't, I can't even see what shade that is, but I will put it all down below. Here's a picture of the blush, well, video of the blush that I was using for this look. But now I'm just going into my Tarte Tarlet Palette and taking this soft brown shade and using that as my transition shade for this look. Um, after that, I'm going to be going into my favorite blush this season, which is the new NARS one, and applying that onto my outer crease type area. Yeah, I really love how it looks. I've been looking for an orange eyeshadow, but this blush is just amazing for not only your cheeks, but also your eyeshadow. Now with the highlight shade in there, I'm going to be applying that all over my lids, and then going into the Tarlet palette, and just maybe, well sort of, um, deepening up the outer part of my eye, but I will be doing that further more later on. You know what I mean? So yeah, here I'm just, you know, sort of packing that in, blending it out. It's very subtle, to be honest, but it's all about building up. Now I'm taking these three shades in that palette and using that to blend out the orange. Just because I was afraid that, I don't know, when I was doing this, I was kind of afraid you guys wouldn't react well with the orange. But now I'm looking on the camera and it did not look that intense in the first place. If anything, I should have added more. Um, then with the darker, cool tone brown, I'm going to be deepening up the outer crease of my eye to obviously make this look a little bit more sultry, applied a little bit more of the highlight on my lids because we lost it from all that blending, and then going on to eyeliner and then liquid liner as well. Um, here I did it really fast, so I wanted to fast forward the clip, but if you guys want an in-depth, really, um, eyeliner tutorial, um, then I will do that for you guys and show you guys step-by-step step how I get my liquid liner um, to be, I guess, at that precise, I guess, I don't know. Now I'm going to be applying the same liner that I applied on my upper waterline, upper tight line, onto my lower waterline and stuff like that. Why did my voice just get so low lower? What the heck? Okay, now I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and just applying it on the inner lower parts of my under eyes because I didn't really feel like going all the way full out with that highlight just because I didn't feel like it. Now with this darker brown shade, I'm going to be smudging out my lower lash line and setting the black liner that is there on my waterline. 
so it doesn't budge all day. Now I'm going to take the bronzing shade in the um, Anastasia Contour Kit and bronzing up my face because I've been really pale lately and I think that since the warmer weather is coming up, I gotta fake that tan, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I also want to do some self-tanner. If you guys like any, I was thinking about ordering the Loving Tan one or the um, uh, St. Tropez one. I'm not sh too sure. I haven't self-tanned ever yet. But anyway, um, back to the tutorial. I'm going to be applying my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, my absolute holy grail favorite mascara of all time. Oh, if you guys have been watching my videos for the past like months, couple months, you will know that I have just fallen in love with this one. Now, with that blush... The one I've been obsessing over, you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, this girl needs a chill. I'm going to be applying that onto my cheeks with this Sigma brush, which is perfect for blending it out. And yeah, I really blended it out because I didn't want to go too harsh, but I'm also blending a little bit more with my Beauty Blender. And yeah, after that I'm also going to be highlighting, so, oh no, I'm going to be setting my under eyes from the Anastasia Contour Kit and then highlighting with that highlight shade from the palette on my cupid's bow and cheekbones. Now I'm thinking about what lipstick to wear and I discovered my Viva Glam 2 which I had no idea that I actually had which is a pretty cool finding and then setting my face with the Smashbox um, primer water. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again if you guys like this video then please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up bar button button in the down bar. That's more like it. Uh, anyway, so yeah, um, have a great day and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and for any business inquiries, inquiries they will be down below.